Hey kids, this is clear. Let's play Forgato and Friends. So last time we left off, I totally screwed up getting this coin over here. Also, we dragged a golden ant around to no effect because I need to do something over to the right first. But first we're gonna get the coin, because it's there. I will prove my awesomeness and go get a coin that is flying in the air. And you can't stop me. That ant can't stop me. That ant is flying. Did you know ants can fly? And some of them have platforms on their heads big enough for a frog to stand on. Do you know how big frogs can get? Because if this frog is as big as an ant, then... You know, that says a lot about the relative scales of frogs and ants, I guess. Anyway, I am bad at timing the jumps for that. Because if he collides into you from the side, he bumps off and turns around. Presumably to prevent crushing you against all this emptiness up here. It's kind of annoying. Just a bit. There, we timed it. Now let's not screw up the jump here. Yeah! I'm sassy. Now I want to not screw up this jump. Look at that momentum slide me around. I did it! I'm the best! I'm the best at frogs. Now we have ten more coins. Those coins will be used later at a shop of some kind, because coins go to shops. But that's not right now. Right now we're gonna go this way. We will of course save our game because such an accomplishment deserves to be saved. Yeah! We're awesome. Now let's go to the Stone Pipe Bridge. It's a bridge. It's an ambush! Oh no! That guy's got a plane. You be careful, we don't have a plane. He's got bombs too, he's gonna destroy the bridge. Ha! I spit a bomb at you. Then he bombs us back. Oh no! We have died, but we get to start right around where we died in the first place, so it's not a big deal. Although we do lose some points. In the upper left, you see the green thing? Those are points. I'm not sure what they have to do with anything at all, but you know, points. You like points, right? Yeah, you do. Now, here's how you fight this guy. First, don't run right under his bombs. Second, hit him with the bombs that he drops on you. Especially the ones that don't explode and make the bridge dangerously unsafe. Like that. See this? See this? This is how you safely bomb a guy. Bombs are the safest things ever. Ah, we have defeated you! We have victory! Yeah, that was satisfying. Let's go this way. We got bombed in the face. It hurt a bit. Oh no, Milgram! Yeah, I don't know what a Milgram is. They apparently do, and he's a guy who lives on the other side of the island. And he has henchmen! They have enough henchmen to take a town hostage to collect on debts. I don't know the details either, I've never seen this guy before. This is my first time to the world of Frogato and Friends. But yeah, now we can't go look for jobs. Yep, that pretty well summarizes Frogato. He is an opportunist. Not a berserker. Or an RPG protagonist. Do we look like one? Maybe. Maybe if you play that one RPG, the one that I didn't play. Oh, there's a fellow. We're gonna go visit the fellow. How are we gonna get on top of the rock column? Oh, of course, we can fly. Or not, we're a frog. Oh, how silly this game is. Ooh, fountain. I will heal here. Yes, I have healed the fountain. Now I'm going to save my game. And things are generally awesome. Now I could go up there I could also go to the right, but I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go get the golden ant. I have a suspicion that the recluse who lives up there wants a golden ant for some reason. Spoiler alert! Bird clock alert! That's a belted kingfisher, according to my clock. That means that it's 9 o'clock. Except this is in the 
time zone that I live in, which is not the time zone you live in, because you don't live here. Unless you're a Mormon, then you do live here. This is 100% scientific fact. It's been proven by scientists. They have lab coats and everything. We're gonna get shot at. Okay, so the gold net. As you recall, he's just over here. We need to not get hit. Especially not in close range while having this guy. Because if we do, if we get hit, we'll spit him out. And that's no good. Because then he will be spit out and he might hit something. And he might inadvertently destroy something. Destroying himself in the process. So, let's go over here. This tricky part. The spitter plant and a jumpy ant. No! Oh, that is the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. You're bad at this, Forgato. But we got points. You like points, right? Oh no! He shot at us. What a knave. These plants are all knaves. And the golden ant just bumped into us. And now we're obese. No, we're not really obese. We're just holding something. Gives us the appearance of obesity. Like the camera adding 10 pounds. I'm not sure if Frogato's world has cameras. It might. It might have cameras, and I just got hit anyway. I got hit twice. I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this game. Don't fall in the water there, or you lose. Don't worry, this actually isn't as hard as I'm making it look. I'm just being an idiot about it. Once you get over here wise, and get it to the secluded hut, it's basically just climbing up to the secluded hut, and then it's easy. There's no enemies, I think, on the path to the secluded hut. Secluded hut! It's like cellar door all over again. I can still drink from fountains even with a golden ant in my stomach. I'm just that stylish. We're gonna save here. Just in case, because the things in your stomach are saved when you save your game. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that thing. I'm going to jump on that thing. And I'm going to miss because momentum. Sometimes the momentum in Frogato and Friends is a bit tricky to get the hang of. But once you do, it's not too bad. We're in the hut. Someone wants to know who's here. It's us. Where's the guy? Hello! That's Mortimer! Yeah, what is what is he? That doesn't help us. That helps us. You are an astronomer and biologist. That's right, he is a scientist of multiple types. Oh man, if we can find a golden net for him, and we put it in one of his cages, he will reward us. How convenient that we happen to have a golden net on us right now. Blech. I spit out the golden net into your cage. Yes, reward us. Alright, it's a thing. We got a thing, we got a thing. Can't check the other ads. So many wonderful creatures! You have no sense of aesthetics, Forgato. Anyway, we are done in the secluded hut. Almost. That would have been better if I went mostly, because then I could make a reference that about 20 of you would get out of the 20 of you that are actually watching this, because I am unpopular on the internet. But look, we found a teleporter. We can go back to the grotto. Let's, let's check in with Pato. Pato. Whatever you call him. The potato man with the potato hands. That guy. I don't know what the light on his head is for. I'm sure that there's a very good reason for it. Yes, lunch. Feed us. Oh. Oh, man. We get leftovers. You can't even open the fridge to get the leftovers in the sad part because Forgato is a frog of discriminating tastes, I'll have you know. Anyway, 
way, that giant castle must be Milgram's place, I guess. Unless there's more than one guy who has a bunch of henchmen that take over towns. It's a possibility, I don't know for sure. I am not well versed in the politics of Fregato's world. Oh man, it's Rockafort. Oh my goodness, it's a plant. We will spit it out and jump on it. We are the very model of nobility and civility. And there's a swordfish. Weird corkscrew tail. That's what swordfish look like in real life. This is very much close to real life. And he poked us in the nose. How rude of him. Or it might be a she, I don't know. Genders, like politics in this world, are completely alien to me. We got coins. You like coins, right? We got undercurrent, or just plain current. You can't go that way. It's too strong. No. Oh well. We'll just explore elsewhere for now. Like this. There is an anthill. You stole the anthill's coins. What do you do with coins anyway? You're an anthill. You're stationary and not alive. You're not dead either, but still. We're gonna ride in a bucket, because that's what cool people do. And we'll save our game. Game save! Alright, so here's the interior of the rock fort. It's full of coins and brambles and water and bats! Oh no! I slide kick that bat into this underground. That is how bats work. That is how slide kicks work. I just drop that guy down a pit. He is probably dead now. And I could try wall jumping up that thing, but nah. It's only one coin. I'll just take the easy way. Ow! That's the easy way. Aha! The bat fell in the water. Now we will take his delicious innards and add it to our point total. Here's a fountain. How about that? That flower. That's a weird flower. It spits things. Flowers all spit things in the world of Fregato. That's why being a botanist is such a dangerous trade. You have to have quick reflexes and a quicker trigger finger. Whoa! It's a flying plant. Flying plants are basically the same as the ones that go on the ground, except they fly! Also, I think you can jump on them outright to defeat them. Not that you'll usually get the chance, it's just something interesting to know. A bunch of different enemies in this are vulnerable to different methods of attack that Forgato has, like his slide kick, or jumps, or eating them. It really just depends on the situation and what you have on hand. It's kind of neat. Those are beetles, except they can swim. What is this world coming to? I don't know. We're going this way. We're going to get all the coins. Every last one of the coins. Except not really. I'm not going to do a 100% run of Forgato because... I don't know. There's, there's stuff you can explore on your own if you really want to. I don't really want to. I just want to show off this game and kick a guy into a wall and then he falls on my head and I get injured. It's a sad tale that many people can sympathize with more people than would care to admit it. We're going this way. To the flooded caverns. Zoosh. And speedy frog. We're gonna swim this way. The blue fish, unlike the green ones, they will not pursue you. Blue spiky fish. They'll leave you alone. But the green ones will chase you, so you need to be careful. Green means go. Blue means get your stoplight fixed, because that's not normal behavior. Maybe it is, if you live in a strange country in which blue actually means stop or something. Although that would be more than a little bizarre, because that's not too distinctive from green. Also, another gold net, which we have murdered. Morgato cares not for the conservation of endangered species. He cares not for lag spikes either. Yeah, we can't go that way. There are hidden wall passages that we can take, but that's not one of them. 
going this way. This is a way to a thing. I'm not sure what. I have coins. Don't get eaten. Don't get eaten by the water beetles. They will eat you with their mandibles. There's two green fish down there. Mostly I'm just exploring this area. I don't know the one true way forward or where all the secrets are. I used to explore all the areas of this place all the, all the way through. I don't anymore. Yeah, I jumped on that guy. That was the first time I actually learned you could do that to the flying plants, and it destroys them. You learn something new every day. And if you don't, then you're a failure! You don't deserve to live. And there's the green spiky fish. What a jerk he is. We're gonna get that coin. That coin... What are you doing for... Oh. There are the plants on the bushes that are also coins for some reason. Boom! I smote you with my feet. Feet smote. And I spit something at that plant, but it proves too durable for our ant and beetle powered onslaught. So we'll just save the game. I'm clear this has been Let's Play for Gato and Friends. Next time, we're gonna go in this pool so things stop murdering us. Yeesh.